April the 5th, 2023, and in this video I'm going to be discussing situation I have encountered uh, at father that is at home for elderly people when visiting father today on April the 5th, 2023. It was really everything but what I expected I would encounter one, um, especially due to my last visit, which I paid on March the 20th of 2023. There was no visitations of mine at father uh, between March 20th. 2023 and February the 25th 2023 so we are talking about the 25 days and my mom protesting right there at the oven making noises and such uh, <laughs> so between February the 25th and March the 20th I've not seen father at all and the reason was really my father number one told me is mentally ill on february the 25th 2000 and <laughs> okay all right Father, mentally ill on february the 25th 2023 and then secondary during the visit on march the 20 however according to fg ultra scenario one was just spinning around on a bed or other than to communicate with me in absolutely any way i think that to give a response to somebody that comes to visit you uh yeah, you don't go to visit the person. Uh, you care for the person because you care for other reason. Yeah, it could be other reasons, but you know, um, myself, I am facing serious health problems. Very, very serious health problems, and I don't get to see a physician. Literally. It's okay. I'm not complaining to expecting from my family absolutely anything from anybody. It's all right. And sure, I take time to go see father. Sure, I am concerned. Even that my father expressed exactly the opposite to me during MK Ultra. Family did. But these are not problems that will affect on what is the right thing for me to do and what not. In fact, to even become uh, distorted because of issues which police, Slovenian police and psychiatrists involved on behalf of Slovenian judiciary system, courts, Slovenian Parliament. So we do what we have to do, and uh, we let other issues uh, to interfere with. After we do what we have to do, simple. This, these are just my rules. This is how my rules are. And so today, during the visit at my father, I was shocked to learn, especially because my mother claimed me all along that. Is normal, this is the same, it's all the same. Uh, from his roommate, that he's basically is going down the whole thing. Uh, for one thing, he I didn't really know what what the hell went on, uh, because and just like I stated here on Take this off, and maybe 
it appeared to me like it's better now without the internet again it it, it appears it's normal again it, it's just, it appears i was transmitting again somewhere to somebody across the internet the stuff i was doing uh let's stop that stuff so today when i visit my father my father was in a state of being totally emotionless basically he was like he appeared he, he appeared like he was sleeping deeply 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 sleeping um let me just say this to you before i get before i jump to more issues involving this stuff he was just laying down there uh emotionless totally um uh, and as i was trying to I'm gonna put the videos down below. I was trying to move him, whatever. Uh, he would not respond at all. The only thing he would hold this uh, cover like this, and he wouldn't allow to be touched, moved anything, anything at all, whatsoever, nothing. He wouldn't respond anything. Like sleep, like, like. Somebody would be deeply dedicated to praying or something like this. This is how he was dedicated to sleeping. You couldn't, not even a millimeter, you could move on. I did step out when a nurse came to feed him. And I moved back inside of the room uh, to just receive the same, I won't say attitude, but exactly the same thing repeated again. Father completely motionless sleeping deeply and i really didn't know what to do what what is left there for me other than to you know i actually touched him a little bit and it appeared to me that today uh i almost felt like uh, march the 20 therefore two weeks ago again repeated that's how i kind of felt that it's better to go home uh, that maybe he is just tired, maybe he's sleepy, maybe he didn't sleep. They were doing some kind of work outside. It was boom, 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 boom. Uh, I said, I'm going to come some other time then. In the case, I said to myself, it's okay, let him just sleep. But then, you know what? I stopped right there and I sat a little bit. And what I did was I lifted his, uh, like, Zglown, if you say in Slovenian language, like where the pillow is on the bed, we, you click the button and it lifts him up uh, the upper part of the body, and that actually allows him a little bit for um, easier blood to circulate and process, uh, you know, just blood easier to circulate, uh, giving him actually a chance maybe to wake up or something like this like in a very gentle way i figure out maybe we try that yeah so i did that and i sat right there and i i spent some time next to him and he slowly came to senses and realized that i was there and so on okay it was absolutely not what my mother stated me and claimed me all along uh, with exception on what was I don't know what day was it I'm going to demonstrate to you when she stated me that he is not okay and when I asked why don't you go see him and the kind of answer she gave me um, all along she claimed that he was okay that everything is normal everything is normal everything is normal <sighs> um no not so he was totally uh, static he was totally he was like rather in oblivion he was like totally uh, it felt like i lifted him from dead today Okay, there was no energy in him. Uh, we did not exercise, you know, move hands, anything like this, really. But stretch hands, that's what I did today with him. 
I stretched his hands, legs, and took him out to cafeteria on the fresh air a little bit back and forth, drove him, uh, and then returned back to his bed. And then I departed. Uh, but uh, my mom bragged about giving him exercise, bragged about taking him all over the facility, bragged about giving him, bringing him food every day. Um, listen, I, I don't object to that. Uh, this is fine, this is good, uh, but this is not exactly the state that I found my father today, even that a medical professionals uh, also claimed me that he is completely fine, that he is completely normal and so on. This was just not the case. Uh, roommate also confirmed what I stated, among other that she, again, it totally interfered with the information my mother gave me and what I encountered. Uh, that there is nothing much with him. Basically, everything appeared like it's it's going down. Uh, really, it, it felt like I lifted one from the dead today. Just like this, nothing different. And so, what I want to do is I want to give you like a little refreshment um, about what went on, how it all come to this stage. And it's really interesting what exactly developed in meantime. Uh, therefore, between February the 25th, when my father had gone ahead like a kamikaze again on me, uh, literally used as a remote weapon of a local psychiatrist, Peter Gapsch, who represents Novo Mesto Police, or I should say police acts on his behalf. They are coordinated. And then all that stuff is coordinated with the Slovenian government and some people from abroad too. Uh, with the idea to bully, to challenge, eventually to uh, create an incident out of it and then intervene to at least partially excuse crime against me, which is really impossible thing to do. But people are optimistic. Before I get to that issue, before I refresh you with how it all got to this, and it's really interconnected that issue with what I experienced also today was a health professional, uh, certified nurse, or nurse with a four-year degree, university degree, uh, did not, very pleasant nurse to converse with, and I remember one, she was involved in MKUltra, partially did also identify her. Um, did confronted me, tried to confront me with, it, you know, uh, also issue. It was several nurses I conversed today with, I interacted with. And, because you know, I asked in particular, I wanted to know what exactly is going on with the father, uh, that he was so... Uh, he was just so really uh, non-responsive that I inquired about what kind of medication is he getting actually. Is there like any change in medications, what's going on and so on. Um, and yeah, there were some changes in medications by adding him tranquilizers and that kind of stuff. Tranquilizers sort of medications that, well, do have a tranquilizing effect on as per also appears uh, issue I have already discussed on February the 25th. Um, as a matter of fact, excuse me, on uh, March the 20th. That's my, my father uh, causing trouble to a staff uh, by kicking them, biting them, you know, doing all kinds of problems to them. Uh, rather than to simply comply and make their work pleasant, not only easy, but to help them out for helping him out, because that's what actually is required from everybody that goes to these public institutions. This is how it should be. 
we should express gratitude rather than hostility toward the people that are helping us out, best to their abilities. Um, definitely something that I coped with my entire life at home. Uh, definitely not something I returned uh, to a psychiatric staff when I was thrown behind the walls of a psychiatric institution of Ljubljana Poly based on nothing other than lies against me uh, by none other than father, mother, my niece, my sister. Uh, you know, I did not respond to a psychiatric staff that was involved in MKUltra since 1995 with violence of any kind, but instead with compliance. And even so, they reserved the right to portray me as violent by simply uh, disallowing me when visiting home to comply with their orders. That was strange stuff, you know. <laughs> when I was actually escorted down uh, to the ambulance vehicle, where I was literally pinned to uh, laying down freely on, on the bed, and wow, well, they got on me and basically uh, trained me to the bed and then through some kind of a crazy driving brought me to this psychiatric facility in 2013 and took me inside and again trained me to the bed and I did not understood what the fuck went on about this stuff at all uh, a psychiatrist Rus is her name uh, came to me involved in MK Ultra for many years and this was just one of the most stupid encounters I had in my life because I was totally compliant that's one thing I did not resist uh, and she just said hey, you're just going to spend some time just chained basically just like this uh, to the bed. Uh, this is this is how they gave me basically what whatever the fuck I needed to know about my rights. Basically, uh, at no time whatsoever would I ever get into any kind of confrontation. Anything. I was rated by the psychiatric staff as exemplary patients, as somebody totally compliant, somebody who. Uh, they wondered why is it that I am inside of the psychiatric hospital. They did not understand what went on, and they also encouraged me to state this. Uh, something that I pointed out on the March the 20. Uh, so, on the March, let me demonstrate you this stuff here. Crazy stuff is this year to me. On February the 25th, you know, because today a nurse confronted me, a very, very smart nurse confronted me with the issue. You know, she stated, she asked me, she said, in what kind of state, uh, mental state, did you find your father today? You know, that's exactly what her question was. And I told her, you know, uh, that is a subject to discuss. You know, she said, did, did he recognize you? Did he, how did he, and so on and so forth. How, you know, so I gave her exactly the answer according to profession, uh, which has the ability to rate uh, my father's well-being, uh, therefore, uh, psychiatry, because that's what you refer to as when you're asking about uh, mental health. 
uh, mental well-being of the patient, of somebody, uh, in what stage do you encounter one? You know, they want to see your perception about his mental state. And when it comes to my father, uh, that is... Well, you're going to hear the audio recording uh, in Slovenian language. I definitely have expressed myself more professionally than I, I can express myself in the English language, but I, 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 I answer her with the answer was this is a subject to discuss because one thing is in a matter I view the father I encountered uh, his mental state and another one is uh, what mental health profession uh, would see or could portray one as you know so i told her that's a subject to discussion you know i wouldn't really go into uh these issues as per you know uh but i told her my father did recognize me today you know? so if he did recognize me today because she asked me about that um that means that he was not completely, you know, like totally that he would know what the hell he was doing, right? So nobody said that 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 uh, that he was like in a state of mind that he would know what he was doing or anything like this. No, nobody said any any of that stuff. But when it comes to the mental health issues and even what I further break down on a subject to discuss uh, there is more here than just to the mental state uh, mental well-being of my father there is much much more in the game especially because of what I cited here in the blog uh, for instance on a February the 25th my father very very diplomatically like Word by word, he repeated and acted like a professional actor. Stress in my face, mental illness issues. Which is like a really, really, really heavy, heavy, heavy insult that eventually uh, uh, surpassed my expectations <laughs> in respect to my father's abilities uh to come about with something daring like this in my face after everything we have gone through um uh, and you know uh, just not supposing but no for fact bargaining for that last anything reaction any anything i would bite to get basically to apologize uh, to what I refer to uh, guilty for not committing crime yet you know uh, I was stressed out on February the 25th and I swear I'm not gonna see one anymore man for the rest of my life or the shit he did to me and dare to come up with the stuff like this uh, It was really bad, right? If you ask me about that stuff, I didn't want to see one anymore, to put it plain and simple. This was... This was on uh, February the 25th, uh, and then what happened was, I couldn't get over that, I was really, really angry about it. I paid him another visitation on the March the 20th. Uh, the MK Ultra issues repeated inside of the house, outside of the house, uh, with people in area pulling the uh, all kinds of stuff. They pulled all kinds of stuff on me uh, to basically go and see father, to visit him and so on. And so I did. It was a uh, March 20 that I paid him a visitation 
Uh, before this, however, I did protected myself. You know, I protected myself because going to father like this, uh, in many ways, does me no good. Uh, going to the father like this and writing the stuff like, for instance, here that he instigated in a violence by calling me mentally ill and so on, which definitely he did according to the instructions of the psychiatrists uh, local police it, it portrays me rather in a very very bad light and when my mother stated me um, asked her you know how is he doing and she wouldn't even give me like a normal answer like uh, he's not he's not too good and then why don't you go and see him and this and that uh and she went on to tell me i don't know what she, what she stated to me she said i don't know what exactly she stated to me uh but it did enrage me because father is getting visitations at least from my mother he got visitations like on a daily basis is what he got something i never got uh inside of the psychiatric hospital in Poli, where i was thrown based on nothing other than false accusation lies uh in fact i haven't seen my parents for like first time i think i didn't want to see them anymore it was like three months when I saw them, or maybe even six months, I don't know. I know I, I didn't want to see my family anymore because of the stuff they did to me. Simple as this. Because this is just nasty, nasty, nasty stuff that I wanted to break free from no matter what, for whatever price, for whatever cost. Um, I figure out that... Uh, I figure out on uh, yeah she 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 talked to me about uh, I remember that that he doesn't talk uh, that he is uh, he does not communicate that he is um, uh, Yeah, it, it, it appeared as if I don't even care about my father on a March the 20th. Like, basically, that he is silent, that he doesn't talk. Uh, and it was a whole barrage of issues they mounted behind that silence that's how it was on uh on a march the 20 when i also i did go ahead and i pay him uh i, I pay him a visitation and uh you know uh for paying him visitation on a march the 20 uh father was just like my mother stated he would answer anything he was just silent this and that but during my visit it was a bit different it was not only a silence it was exactly what my father have stated uh you know he would he would do yes if i would write down here how he called me demented and so on he was acting exactly to the last millimeter according to instructions of the local police department and psychiatrist trying to get me in confrontation anything that would give a police opportunity to intervene that's exactly how it was also on a march the 20 when father or rather just uh, being silent 
basically ignoring me during the visit, refusing basically to see me. Uh, what he would do is, during my visit, he would just start to act like uh, nervous, like, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, when people are trying to hurt themselves, you know, uh, people develop certain, can develop certain mental health uh, problem, mistake, error, whatever. Um, it's not a proper expression. Um, issue, let's say. And are willing to cause harm to themselves. You know, it's exactly what my father stated me during MT Ultra. If you would write down something like this, and then the only thing we would do is, I no longer would see you next time when you would come, uh, if you would come, I would just uh, uh, even pull the tube out of me and stuff like this. That's how far my father explained to me during MK Ultra what is it going to be if I will be writing the stuff that I encounter during my visitations to him. Well, needless to say, on a March the 20, my visit was brief i came uh and he did exactly what i stated uh not that he would pull the tube from him or something like this but he would nervously just spin around and do i'm not gonna say like some kind of schizophrenic moves or something like this uh but you know excuse me uh, judge an individual like this who would act like this and my father was extremely violent when I was young I very well remember him doing uh, strange stuff like uh, like uh, uh, in one moment very unpredictable crazy stuff, impulsive and very, very crazy stuff. Uh, when I observed that type of behavior, you know, with uh, expressing some kind of, uh, listen, I took time to come to visit you. Uh, to visit person means to, to to pay respect, express care for person. You go there to see if you can help, uh, to see if you can meet person, uh, build better and Of course, you have to protect yourself uh, in a circumstances like this. But it didn't come to cause harm or anything like this. Uh, I definitely come to ask for forgiveness of any kind. You know. Uh, as there's no reason really to act in a rather violent way, I realized. So I stopped the visit short, got up, and basically left, saying, Oh, we're going to see each other again on some other opportunity. And for two weeks, I realized right now I wasn't there. Uh, he had not seen me because I wasn't going to go and sit next to the bed and wait that he would actually really do something stupid to impress me with uh, whatever issues a big man might be suffering from. You know, it's, it's, uh, I know, I know it can get, the issues can, can run deep, uh, but, you know, I'm not out there to give you uh, some kind of support for your being malicious. So when I heard my mother uh, saying to me about <laughs> rushing to him, 
and so on and so forth and giving me very answer like you know uh, I was trying to calm her you know to say listen uh, you know he needs to uh, you know if he doesn't want to talk if he doesn't want to communicate and so on and this and that, he, he needs to come down you know he needs to get down to uh, to like a normal level of other people basically of mortals like I am you are whatever and um, my mother was like okay, hey, what about you and this and that how about you know what about me what the fuck nothing here to say other than to go away you don't want to go and discuss that kind of issue anyhow um, but during the visit to my father on the March 20 I had the whole thing up to here because of the issues I stated earlier and because of the issues employees the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Poli alone stated me uh, because of the issues nurse Yanko stated me uh, because of the way they explained to me this stuff even so I went ahead and I alerted about my father being non-compliant, uh, biting, kicking medical staff, uh, doing all kinds of stupid shit, a lot of stuff he did at home, uh, you know, at home, you just let him be. Now, he definitely want to have a conflict with a person like this. Uh, in my situation, I was thrown behind bars of psychiatric institution based on lies. Now, heh, uh, nobody asked anything whether I'm sane or not, as a matter of fact, the psychological evaluation they have conducted did not show any kind of errors on my behalf, on my end, but exactly contrary inside of the psychiatric hospital. That did not make no, no difference whatsoever. Um, let's start somewhere, all right? Man, if you're in a public institution like this and people out there stab people, uh, medical workers out there to help you with your physical needs basically giving you water and food and change your ass so you don't stink uh, be fucking respectful to them appreciate them make their life easy think about how you're going to help them out to make your life easy thank them in some way uh, and it was just exactly that I needed, you know, somebody to push that button. Uh, like, how about you? You know, well, how about me? Uh, and so I went on. And I displayed a video recording of my father's forced... Uh, this is a bed ridden, bed ridden, uh, or I don't know if I'm saying this properly. When uh, the medical staff was forced to use um, a restrain, restraining uh, devices to to assist him, basically to have ability to assist one, to help one during whatever uh, needs. Uh, and I am going to play you audios, definitely. I don't have one, but quite a few nurses complain about him being uh, incompliant and so on, uh, causing trouble and so on. Uh, Which rather was interpreted to me in many different ways that I have to do that stuff and so on and so forth. I have to put this on my website and so on and this and that to protect myself and this and that. And then even that it's going to be the stuff 
that my father will do for me uh, to basically uh, a kind of a feel when Nurse Yanko, whom I have met today, that's a big, big conspiracy theorist. This man who wanted to be a politician one time. Uh, but I think I think he went a little bit too far with this political. He uh, he had a problem with the politicians, uh, but uh, his politics are also a, a conspiracy theory based uh, politics through which he attempted, according to his own words, even apologized father, like the father would give me uh, uh, an excuse, basically, like, yeah, uh, you know, it's how it is. You go and you write and you give this recording and so on about how father uh, is resisting to nurses and, and so on and stuff like this. Uh, like he would be in a way rescuing me or something like this is no fucking way because nobody really has a capacity to rescue one that let's just say you can't prove wrong somebody who did not wrong, did wrong you're not going to pr prove him wrong unless you brainwash him enough uh, to at least believe you in a certain way that you're doing him a favor or something like this this is a stupid shit they try all kinds of issues, all kinds of ways to brainwash one, to get one on their side when they co commit themselves to so much crime. And committing themselves to even more crime never is a trouble because anything is better and, and you can imagine or it's a predisposition for at least anything is better than to admit guilt, right? Isn't it? So the next thing or other than anything else to do, alleviate issues or whatever, is going to be to elevate crime, to add more crime to it. Yeah, because, you know, hope dies last. In criminals still, don't worry about that. When the nurse spoke to me about my father today, and ask me the question how my father is doing uh, according to my opinion uh, I just as I stated earlier I told her it's a subject to discussion you know uh, I could read one in a certain way that mental health professionals would not agree with me uh, and so uh, it's a subject to discussion. I was very, very, I gave her a very diplomatic answer because this will be a subject of discussion. I had not letting this get away from me. Uh, father did not appear absolutely in any way from what it's. what it was in the past uh, it, it, it wasn't about so much about the father it was about other people more than my father you know medical health professionals made a much stronger impression on me today than my father did it's not only my father a subject to discussion when it comes to mental health but of course and foremost the people therefore other people medical professional, health professionals inside of where we have this institution that are employed who however have participated in this in this in this uh, project. Hope for elderly people is what I was thrown after all brought to the building next door, right next to the home for elderly people beginning in 1995. When Mr. Milan Kuchan hoped with all his heart with Borut Paho, previous Slovenian president also, both of them are Slovenian presidents, and then you have a Tanya Fayon, then Golovic, and so on. You have a whole palette of these politicians, which they eventually hoped for that a torture in Slovenia, whenever hijacked from the United States of America, would be so severe. Within year and two, 
most two years the most is what coach I'm claiming within one year we're gonna have you we already got other people like this he bragged about he bragged about he was proud about destroying other Slovenian people in the same systematic way they did to me and I told you that they drug you up and they torture you sleep deprive you and drove you through the violence into the madness that you would actually believe no, not believe, but convince yourself about things that you know no longer even exist. Drove person in a total chaos, state of mind, out of which individual would not have a capacity anymore to recuperate his mind, basically. That's how the people, that's how they destroyed people. According to Michel, Milan Kuchin alone, those people would come out of the institutions such as is the one located right next to Hope for Elderly People, it's institution for mentally disadvantaged people, people who lack mental abilities to function as a normal part of the society are stationed in there. And that's where I was hijacked by American Central Intelligence Agency from Miami Beach, Florida, in 95, and in 96, and I think it was in, maybe even in 98, that finally I received the news from the black immigration officer, male officer, who guaranteed me already in 1996, I am now ever going to make it. Well, for what Milan Kuchan have referred to as, you are in the United States of America, but officially you are not yet. U.S. immigration authorities refer to that procedure as it would be like a procedure like you did not even exist in the United States of America. And it was like in 97, 98 that this black immigration officer told me, I can now no longer repatriate you back to Slovenia uh, without your having a proof a written proof that you were, in fact, living in the United States of America. So, Milan Kuchan hunted me. Two years he was trying to place me inside of this home facility for special needs, uh, mental uh, health deficiency uh, people with mental health deficiency. Uh, for two years, the U.S. government was, at least two years, if not even three years, was more than willing to cover up for Milan Kuchan, for borrowed power, Slovenian politicians, with simply writing me off like I never existed, like I never filed for residency in the United States of America. That's what my situation was when I immigrated to the United States of America in 1995, that you understand how bad this shit was, what they were up to. They couldn't succeed. For me, British military, I understand, learned how to survive during the most, uh, the worst interrogation procedures uh, using MK Ultra. They were fascinated with my ability to survive under extremely insane issues I was exposed to and uh, somehow they just couldn't break me they couldn't wear me down they could not tear me apart health would first fail not even mental health over and over and over again never within like 26 years could not prove me wrong despite doing everything absolutely anything possible they wanted to in fact there was something else in the end that even took place. So when I consider all this, the best thing for me is to separately play you, for those that understand Slovenian language, and 
there are top U.S. government officials who guaranteed me will have this translated within no time. I'm going to give you audio tapes separately. But what I'm going to say to you in this video, bye-bye. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the last portion of the audio, which is in English. I do this in English when I go out, when I exit the facility. I immediately started to record impression about my visit. Of course, I'm not doing this during the visit. Uh, but when I go out, I tell exactly, I give detailed impression about what exactly visit was about. And what I can say is my father did recognize me. Uh, my father appeared, uh, was pleased with my visit. And uh, the one who made bigger impression on me today uh, so for me to answer a medical professional who was asking me about mental state of my father, uh, that was actually health workers. The health workers did that hell of a good job. Uh, they compensated for what otherwise father provided uh, for that circus. Uh, on behalf of police and psychiatrists. Today, the health workers of Hope for Elderly People did so. So, why don't I demonstrate you the audio, what it looks like? Uh, why don't I just play you the end of the tape, which is in English language? Maybe I'm going to even add something to that. And then, separately, what I'm going to do in Slovenian language, I'm going to give you the whole tape in just Slovenian. I'm just going to burn that. And so, for those of you, I am not going to go, and th this visit was like, it was long, uh, there was my schoolmate. <sighs> Whom else I have identified, let me see. Uh, like two nurses, maybe, who were also involved in MK Ultra. Um... I might get back to this issue later, maybe even translate portion of it. But today, because I did encounter father in a, such a bad situation, I'm just going to end here and I'm going to play you what you need to know about to my today's visit and even what you need to know about my father's stay also at the hospital because I also give a comment that's very, very, very... Uh, like end of this crime uh, of my father's stay inside of the hospital uh, very much related to my mother, to my niece to the family uh, why don't I just play you this uh, and what I can say is I'm not going to thank psychiatrist here nor the police for crime against me uh, but You did not disappoint me. I didn't get much clues from father today. Um, well, I mean, I did. But the health professionals did hell of a good job. Let's see what tape is uh, I am talking about, and I'm going to play that last portion so that you can hear me saying, sense, what other than sense? Not exactly common sense. I don't think that people have so much common sense, really. But there you go. Uh, this is about four hours and one minute and 52 seconds long. That's what the original looks like, basically. You can see here uh, all the data and whatever that is. It's a 2103 is uh, the audio, the name of the audio. And then we go copy-paste this stuff. And uh, pop one here into a paint. Oh, it's already here. Okay, but I'm going to give it this one here so that you can see it. Now, now you can probably see a little bit better. It's magnified exactly what I'm talking about. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'm going to play you this audio so that you can actually hear me 
giving you the impression I got about today's visit uh, rather than just impression about my father. I told you that it felt like I was lifting him literally from dead. I was stretching him. I, I wanted to do some exercise with him, physical exercise, recreation. But instead, he was completely like without any strength, anything like this. But on occasion, he did have a strength because he did wave nurses and salute them and that kind of stuff. He did lost himself in between a little bit, uh, giving me a different impression. Uh, still, however, uh, my father was thrown on medications, tranquilizers, something I explain along the way as I go. I, I should say as I play you this audio here. So. The best thing here will be for me to just uh, go and uh, play you the audio. A roommate from my father told me nobody visits my father. Uh, there is no niece. Uh, there's just my mom that comes. There's no niece. There is no sister. Uh, but when I came home, my mother claimed me that it was a niece who also visited him however she wouldn't tell me on how many occasions uh, she visited one so okay i'm just looking at something else here about this so talking about yeah I had all this stuff ready and somehow well 2103 somehow I also need to get some rest 03 this is the one right here let's see with what I can actually open this thing here with come on uh, wow we have a weight pad editor. I like that it gives a good good profile okay so I didn't pay the money I didn't pay the uh, maybe just I made some mistake whatever <clears throat> Kind of disturbing me. Usually, you never ask me that question. Aha, uh -huh. okay. All right, so these guys are not negotiating, whatever. I'm just going to play you with. Windows uh, Media Player. Oh, we we'll do this one next time. I have to fix that problem. Ladies and gentlemen, separately, I'm going to pop a few videos that you can actually see my father. Uh, it's It was worse than that. Uh, I got him on a wheelchair and then back and forth through a facility a little bit. Took him out on the fresh air and stuff. Um, I'm going to pop those videos below this video. And also, as I stated, the whole audio, I will prepare that for you. But that's all there is to it. Now, oh, let's see this here. It was a long stay. I don't know how long did I... Okay. Okay, so you hear this? This is basically how it was inside, inside of his room. 
they're doing a work outside. Very loud, bang, bang everywhere. Yeah, I was gonna leave. Um, I came after half an hour. I was with him. I was gonna leave, and then I still didn't leave. Okay, so you know, so about three hours and a half long stay at my father. I said about three hours and a half. Okay, so here is in English. So that once I write this, okay. So there you go. In English language, simple. All right. So this is uh, April fifth, two thousand and twenty-three. This was a visit of my father, and it's right now about fifteen hundred. So, on Android, it's about seven minutes after 1500 hours. It became totally evident. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff became evident. Uh, hopefully, some also to my father. Uh, a nurse, a medical nurse, uh, Yanko, uh, quite took a lead in uh, in a practice because he was the one a very good conspiracy theorist for whom it's very difficult to know what the fuck is going on but he was the one who stated me that once I write down on my blog once I mention on my blog that my father is violent and is resisting and is doing the stuff the only thing that's going to happen is he's going to throw him on uh, sleeping pills. Uh, <laughs> sleeping pills, sort of. Whatever they're giving him to uh, slow his process of what I was told is resistance. To even have him wear clothing and stuff. Uh, that he is stubborn, he always was. See, he got a real problem. And the only thing he is going to do for me is he will enter the date when giving those sleeping pills, that kind of stuff, uh, to calm person. That he will give them one day ahead of my visit. So that once I write this in the blog, it's not going to look like it was because of me that uh, father was thrown on this sleeping pills. Okay, so here I'm going to stop. That's exactly right. That's exactly what nurse Yanko have stated me. Uh, he stated me if the father is going to give you a trouble, if he's going to give you a hassle and so on, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw one on a sleeping pills and I'm going to do it in a such a way so that it, the fault will not fall on you. So that means I'm going to enter about a day earlier than what your visit was. Still, uh, he answered to me, this is not good, and so on, during MK Ultra. Nice. Uh, during the conversation, uh, it became evident that now, this was entered on a February the 28th. However, the visitation was on February the 25th, which I paid to my father. Um, during the conversation itself, I'm going to get back to this 
three five seven fourteen um during my stay today at 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 the home for elderly people uh No, slabši ni, kot kar reče, da spomnim, kako jih nam pršil, ki ni ne jul, ne pil, nič ni, ne? Aha. Ja, pa več se ležil je, bil je agresiven, ne? Ja. Um, anyhow, this is not it, but you got, you're gonna get the whole thing. The nurse, um, told me that she took me inside of the office and she told me, simply she told me, uh, she demonstrated to me the log. She printed one out and uh, gave me tomorrow to contact uh, a physician uh, to get in touch so that she can give me more details about the father, how beginning the February the 24, my father was thrown on these tranquilizers, uh, sleeping, whatever, pills, probably they, they entered this in his body uh, in Traveno with, uh, uh, like in the same way, like a food, uh, something like this. Uh, so they, they, they keep him calm during mornings when they do change his clothes and stuff like this so he does not resist kicks, bites, and that kind of stuff, which is, from my point of view, if that's what he is doing, uh, that's exactly the right thing to do. I, I don't want... Uh, people to be kicked, bitten, uh, I don't know, pushed, and I don't know what kind of attitude uh, thrown in return for simply giving you assistance. It's not okay, especially because a person like this whom I would like to get at home and have here like a parent uh, cannot come at home when is displaying attitude like this inside of the, uh, a public institution like this. He's got to get used to people giving him assistance and accepting this assistance as a form of help. That's called a discipline. My father has got to discipline himself. He will say, uh, it's difficult to do at an old age. Well, uh, no, it's not. Or you do it or you don't do it. It is as simple as this. These are just a matter of facts. You had eventually time to become disciplined. If you have not, then... That's your problem, basically. I'm not asking for more than uh, um, yeah, I'm going to stop here. That's all there is to it. Uh, so she tells me inside of the cabinet where she dispatched me to uh, invited me to go with her and at my request, at my plea, uh, that on the 24th, Yes, uh, my father was eventually uh, given this kind of uh, tranquilizers beginning the 24, uh, which is not exactly the true, I think, in my opinion, if you ask me. It's entered right there. It's written down, and that's what it is. Uh, it's possible because I complained here about what he did, uh, but <laughs> um, it more fits to this description here, which was on March the 20, when my mother actually tells me that
there was a lot of sniffing that father had all day long. And by asking what's wrong, one answered as nothing, all is good. On my question how father is doing, she replied with, why don't you go and visit one? You know, it appears to me that this here, this is where the troubles really, really, really started. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, I, I don't know anything about this stuff about this. Uh, this is not entered in, in, in the paperwork next to his bed or something like this. It would be visible to the public, but was actually entered uh, at, from what I have seen, like computer, like um, she printed out this report uh, and once stated for February the 24th. Whatever, whichever way, this stuff totally, totally fits the description of the nurse Yanko who stated one day prior to your visit is how it's going to be entered. And then basically, we're going to get rid of your father. Uh, but hold on, let me give you just the whole, this the end of the audio, where I discuss. So, so that once I write this in the blog, it's not going to look like... It was because of me that uh, father was thrown on this sleeping pills. Uh, so oh, now, that's Tran interesting. Tranquilizers. Um, follow up, uh, I was asked about my father, if he recognized me. I think he did recognize me fairly. The clips are going to explain that he did recognize me. There's no doubt about that. Um, Upon departure, Yanko definitely also followed up with conspiracy theory again, for which he brainwashed me inside of the hospital totally on uh, how it's not going to make any fucking sense. You're the one who did this to the father, and I don't know what, you know. Uh, I'm not going to be even talking about this stuff because I ain't got no time to lose. Uh, just yeah, that's exactly what impression. Mr. Yanko gave me today at uh, the doorways. Uh, he was in a hurry, in a big hurry, and have recreated the brainwash from MK Ultra. On once the father is thrown in a sleeping pill, uh, Yanko is like, uh, he fits like in an opera. He's a character more for the operetta or something like this. Um, yeah, why did this guy did not go for an actor or something like that? Um, he gave me a he gave me a like a total play uh, at the elevator, uh, totally rehearsed from MK Ultra. He was like on his tone, on his toes, you know, basically like, uh, like in a like it doesn't make a sense to even talk about. You know, we already have spoke about that stuff, and you uh, you went ahead and you did this, and, and this is just the best thing to do. And I'm not going to do it any other way. Uh, once I get into this, I'm going to get it done. And that's it. And so on and so forth. Uh, and I have to go home. I have no time even to lose. And this and that. He's like a drama queen or something like that. Uh, with another nurse present also. The way it is and so on and so forth. <laughs> so. so this was the visit to my father. April the 5th, 2023. At least... Don't know how much, but he looked like totally uh, motionless. It wasn't about that he wouldn't want to talk. Um, he wouldn't even move his hands, anything. It was like lifting a dead man from the bed, basically. Uh, and I can confirm that he did have some saliva coming out of his mouth, just water a little bit. Uh, watery eyes, which appears that all these medications, and that's why I took him out and didn't push him anywhere. I was just stretching his hands at least. Start with like a little, little, little micro movements exercise with basically not little to no effort but almost no effort uh, but the roommate was really really 
detail about what goes on and nothing fucking goes on. Uh, mother goes for a visit, but there's nothing fucking going on. Nothing really is going on. They're just... They threw him on a sleeping pill, it appears to me. And they are trying to get rid of him as fast as possible. Is what's going on. That's one thing. And the second thing... The last, maybe, the thing I'm gonna say is... It became evident... Nor my niece... Nor my sister... Nor anybody from the family... From this fucking family... Fucking family... Have ever visited one at all. They brought mother at home to make an impression that they are paying him a visitation. Oh yes, I got my niece bringing my mother home with a car, giving me like impression like it's other people that go to visit him. That happened on quite a few occasions. Nobody ever visited him one single fucking time from the family except the mother. And that was it. Not the last thing. But also important for me to say is that husband from the niece, Mitya Weber, stated to me with the niece during MK Ultra, during MK Ultra, that at this stage and at this time and at this point. They're not even going to pay him a visitation anymore because it will be totally senseless, useless, and I am the one who killed him. Now, these people are, with one word, fucked. Really, now, they're going to see hell. Now. Okay, so basically I'm going to give you the whole audio about this. The only thing I want to say about this niece of mine and about her husband is... <laughs> It doesn't get lower than this. This is these are low lives, low, lower than low. Uh, with my mother convincing me throughout MK Ultra that the best thing is to get rid of the father, and then all the way once the father is inside of the hospital and inside of the home for elderly, uh, that it will be you, your fault, and so on and so forth. It doesn't get lower than this. That's why this video, uh, and yes, it's not always about a patient, it's not always about the impression about your relative, whoever you visit inside of the hospital or whatever facility, but it's also an impression that's very important from other people uh, that have, at times, just as big or even greater impact than... Uh, you know, it depends on a subject, uh, is involvement in some sort of collusion, something plot or whatever case might be. I don't have anything else to say. I'm going to give you some videos. I have video recorded here uh, right below this video uh, so that you can get yourself your own impression about all this stuff. I don't like the idea about my father being uh, suffocated with, um, you know. Aha, okay. Well, I, I can give you, let's say, this here is what I prepared. Uh, I'm, I was looking at this paperwork again and stuff like this. Uh, in some paperwork, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a... I feel it's a little bit lousy that some information is also missing. It's not exactly very detailed, I would say, but okay. Um, it's more like not really uh, certain things were uh, entered, are missing elsewhere, and so on and so forth. Um, and vice versa. Here you can see a father today. Today is April 5th, 2023. You can see him totally... And he also has the same shirt for which psychiatrist Peter Kopsch is going to tell I probably will not even come to see him again. You see, he is recognizing me. He's holding me for the hand and so on. Uh, it's, it's saying right there, slow. See that? Uh, police. 
Novo Mesto Police. So you can actually pay the cop save me. You most likely not gonna see this uh, shirt anymore even. You know, that means only one thing, that they were using him as a as a drone basically to attack and attack and attack and attack with expectation that I'm not gonna even pop up to see my father anymore. And so there you go, that's my father right there. And uh, I was shocked with what was repeated to me that he is in the same shape, in a better shape even than when he entered home for elderly people, definitely not. Today, uh, it was, it felt like I lift men from dead already, just like that. Uh, certainly not a good impression when you see that. Uh, and maybe for those tranquilizers, maybe uh, to ease them a little bit, because this is really, for my impression I got, not necessary even. You know, this is like greatly, greatly over-exaggerated from what I have seen today. Yeah. Um, that's all I have to say for this video. Um... I will be back tomorrow to get some more information about what's going on. Um, medical health professionals more know more than I do about this uh, tranquilizer use of this tranquilizers and stuff like this. Uh, you know, it's not always necessary. Even that the stuff they did to me, it's not exactly what I would expect they would do to to him in the same way. <laughs> it's more like the whole thing, it's like more like, you know, I'm not going to give any opinion about this. It's a subject to discuss. Yeah. Uh, there is a psychiatrist who also examined my father, yet I have to find out which who that is, who that will be. Um see about that uh that he examined him and this and that and so on and back and forth but uh what is here uh, i'm going to give you this video videos uh, so you will be able to see it let me see if i can what else is here for me to show no not Okay, well, we got him on a on a wheelchair. We went out a little bit and so on and so forth. My video. What is this? My video. I'm gonna play this video right below few videos I'm going to include. Ah. Uh, I'm going to put this video right below. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, let's see this here. You see, completely motionless, completely responsiveless. <laughs> Outside is ringing. I'm touching him. Le pusse me, pasavid mo shikei. 
Yeah, I was gonna leave like after half an hour of what you see here. He wouldn't even move anything. Eh? You know, he would not move. You know what I mean? He wouldn't make a move, anything. So, yes, those tranquilizers appears are a bit very, very uh, different from what normally should be, I think. Yeah. So that's all. Uh, thanks for watching this video.